All smooth? Smooth. Tropica. Nothing smoother. Previously on Tropica Island of Treasure, Curaçao. Team Mango Peach found themselves in hot water after the first challenge, sliding further down the leaderboard. In the second challenge of the day, teams were put behind the wheel to test their driving skills. And at the Tropical Long Life Ceremony, Team Cool Red and Team Peach battled for a long life charm. The puzzle got the best of Team Cool Red and Team Peach claimed victory. Bam! Illumination Day, a concept that Team Tropical knows all too well after narrowly avoiding the cut not too long ago. But today, all teams will have to pull their weight in order to avoid being at the bottom of the leaderboard. This is Tropical Island of Treasure, Curaçao. Team Peach is feeling great. We have got these bad boys on our side, so we're very excited. One million rand is amazing, that's why we're here. But the boy's tired. The fatigue is kicking in. It's always nerve-wracking going to an elimination because you're thinking to yourself, this could be us. Elimination week already. Already. We just, we just did this the other day, man. Ugh. As for Peach having the, the upper hand. Well done to you, guys. Well done. I'm not concerned about Peach having the long life charm. I think it's a good thing for them. <laughs> Obviously, it's not a good thing for us. Team Peach is literally ahead of us. I don't know how to feel, but we are not up there, but congratulations to them. Bon dia, smooth teams, and welcome to another beautiful day in Paradise Curacao. It's an extra special day because today is Elimination Day. By the end of all of today's challenges, it will be the end of the road to fame and fortune for one of you as a team. But don't let that get your spirits down. Come on, there's everything to smile about while we're here. Look at the beautiful scoreboard that we last time saw. Kay and Keldeen at the top, Team Peach, alongside Nadia and Trevor, Team Cool Red, with 13 points apiece. Team Pineapple not looking too bad, only two points behind, with 11 points. Team Mango Peach with nine, and Team Tropical, with four. So as you know, the two teams at the bottom of the leaderboard by the end of today will be competing in an elimination challenge. But there is still time for you to make a very precious point. Every single one of them will count. Even if we win both challenges today, when we calculate it, we still won't get to the top or be in the top three. Exactly. So we're definitely going to go into the elimination phase of the game. So come back queens. And so, to our first game of the day. I'm sure you're all wondering why we only have two stations set up for today. That's because you will be competing in teams as a group. I know, I know. Basic math would say, uh, uh, so there should be one team that is the odd one out. Don't worry, we'll fix that very simply. One team will automatically receive zero points and set out this challenge. Team Peach, Team Cool Red, as the two teams at the top of the leaderboard right now, you are team captains and you get to choose playground style. <laughs> I mean, bring oh. back some old memories from my youth <laughs> on the school field, either being picked first or last, you know. I was never picked. At all. <laughs> I always get picked first, you know, in high school. I was that guy. How I are you got feeling? picked last, so <laughs> literally. So one team will automatically sit out, receive zero points. And for the two competing teams, there'll be two points in the bag for the winning group, one point in the bag for the losing group. I already know who's going to be left out. <laughs> yeah. I already a... have an idea who is not going to be picked. It's very difficult. But you can't take the bottom one and try to put, it, <laughs> you put them up there. It's not, it's, that's not how we do things, Chief. Uh, that's not how we do things. Depends who picks us. Yeah, it all depends on the team that picks us. Kay and Kaldine, Team Peach, 
as the top of the leaderboard, you have first pick. Who will accompany you in the challenge? Bear in mind, you don't know what it is yet. We know who our friends are in the game, so it's easy to work with them. We're playing to win. Uh, we'll go for Team Mango Peach. Going for Team Mango Peach. That's Vazi and Darren. Any particular reason why? They're formidable. They're formidable. They just had a rough start, but they're formidable. And if we were to win this challenge with any team here, definitely would be them. We're happy to team up with Team Peach. We've had good relations thus far in the competition. Uh, to play with them would be great so that we know how they think as well. Team Cool Red. Trevor, Nadia, who will you pick? Um, we are going with Team Pineapple. Any particular reason? Because we like them. <laughs> we like everybody. <laughs> we just like them a little bit more. We knew Team Cool Red would pick Team Pineapple. There's a very clear alliance between the two teams. Simply put, winners stick with winners. Team Tropical, unfortunately, that means an automatic zero points for you in this particular challenge. You must be disappointed. Not at all. We'll see them at elimination. <laughs> Are you crowning yourself some elimination specialist? The comeback queen. Comeback queen. Woo! <laughs> we came into this challenge thinking that we could gain some sort of anything points. So as much as it's nice to sit in the shade and chill for a little bit, um, it, it, it comes as, at, a, at a disadvantage for us as a team. They're at the bottom, they enjoy being at the bottom. So <laughs> what's the point of trying to give someone who's comfortable being at the bottom a point? Yeah. They are uh, very much okay there. I'm not sympathetic whatsoever. So here is how the challenge works. You'll see behind me a station that includes a treasure chest that is linked via a pulley system to a strap. One of your team members will be in that strap while the remaining three team members will be in charge of the weighted treasure chest. Now the goal of the entire challenge is this. Use the four Long Life Tropica bottles to fill the four glasses perched on the platforms. The first team to fill all four glasses until the Tropica reaches the blue line of the glass will complete the challenge and each team in that particular group will receive two points. The last group to finish will receive one point per team. All smooth? Smooth. Remember, you are accumulating points for elimination. This is crucial. You want to win at every single challenge. I mean, it's just a million rand at stake, isn't it? Yeah. All right, guys. Let's get ready to play. Discuss among yourself exactly who will be managing the treasure chest and who will be managing the strap going forth to fill the glasses. Okay, so just so I understand... I don't, I don't understand the treasure chest and the strip. Chest, I don't know. Yeah. I don't understand how that works. Vazi and Darren are quite physically strong, so naturally we get them to hoist up the treasure chest. I'm a cheerleader and I'm here for moral support underneath the treasure chest. Team Peach and Team Mango Peach have the advantage because they have more muscle. But sometimes you get that supernatural strength in dire situations. <laughs> I'm, I'm depending on that. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to play Slack Attack. Let's go. This game is going to be very interesting because these people are so competitive. And a lot of people need points to stay out of elimination. So it's going to be interesting. Don't eliminate your chance of winning big. Find your smooth fortune with Tropica. Buy Tropica, follow the entry details on the pack and stand a chance of winning your share of 1 million rand in prizes. Such as a trip for two with KLM to Amsterdam, LG G8 phones, LG TVs and dishwashers, guest vouchers, guest watches and accessories. Plus the smooth grand prize of a Suzuki Ignis. The more Tropica you buy, the more chances you have to win. Tropica. Nothing smoother.
Try the new Tropica Pina Colada. Smooth. Smooth teams, remember this challenge is as much a test of your physical strength and finesse as it is about your strategic choices in the teams you've partnered up with. Are you ready? Yes! In three, two, one, go! All right. So first bottle's out now for all okay. teams. And they're starting off with the very top glass. You got it, you got it, you got it. The obvious strategy uh, for most people is to fill up from left to right. But the second podium is much closer to the bottles. So we thought we'd rather exert more of our energy going to the furthest podium before we get tired and then just come back and fill up the last one. You've got to make sure that you fill it. The strategy as a team right now is to use all our energy from the get-go. So from the onset, while we're still fresh, let's lift this thing as high as we can. I'm literally breathing in Trevor's ear like... <gasps> I'm trying to hold it up and my back is arching and my bum is like out. I don't know what they put in that chest. Honestly, I don't know what they put in that so chest. So with our treasure, like, oh. we're going to win. <laughs> the weight of the treasure chest times that by 100. That's the amount of pressure that I had. There we go. Nice and full there. All right, so first glass full for the combination of Team Peach and Mango Peach. Go, 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 Satu! I'm not too worried at this point in time. I'm taking it nice and easy. I think I'm doing well. I'm pouring everything, not missing a drop. You are doing well. Right, 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 again. Drop, 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 drop! Initially, when I poured, I could see that pouring over like this, like you'd normally pour, with the wind coming in, it, 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 it kind of blows some of the liquid. So what you need to do is just exert some pressure and squeeze the bottle, and it pours out faster. Just simple logic, but obviously common sense is not common to some people. Cool red now on to the second. It is a rush now. Good job. Good job. Now, it was just the technique of the pouring. That's Seto all it was. was. Like, pouring like he was having high tea. <laughs> exactly, and, and even his pinky was up. Good. Squares it out, squares it out. Good job. Oh, here we go. Literally now. It is a game of the very last glass. Push, 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 push. Time. Oh, Time. Yes, yes. Team Mango yes, Peach yes. and Team Peach have won the challenge as quickly and as easily as that. There we go. Two points apiece. Everybody completes the challenge. Team Cool Red, Team Pineapple, one point apiece. And to Mango Peach and Team Peach, two points apiece. Well done, guys. Very yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh. I knew See? it. See what an alliance is? That, that, that is a true alliance. So that was over pretty quickly. <laughs> Very. I'm sure you guys didn't expect it to be over so quickly. This entire <laughs> setup for 30 seconds. <laughs> I've said it best. <laughs> Maybe that's how good you guys were as a team, as Team Peach yeah. and Mango Peach, would you say? Very Two points good. apiece for you guys. Team Cool Red, looking back, do you think you might have made a mistake in who you chose to partner up with? No, definitely not. It was literally the technique of squeezing a bottle, which we didn't do, and so I think that was the difference, personally. So do you think that's something that perhaps Sia or Sims could have figured out if they were in partnership with you? Definitely. How do you know? No, oh. doubt, no doubt, no doubt. But, you know, we didn't, we didn't doubt them. It was just a case of relationships. What about you guys as Team Pineapple? Do you think that Cool Red made a mistake in choosing you? Because the way it's turned out, you could have been in a position where the team just below you had a bigger points gap, depending on how it all played out. But now you have a rival who is on your tail. Not at all. I feel like um, everything happens for a reason. Um, the better team won this time, so we give it up to them. And that's that. All right, guys. Well, we have one more challenge before the elimination challenge. Those points are so important. I'm assuming you want to sit down with your teammate right now and really think about how you are going to pull your weight in bringing the points to the table. I'll see you at the next challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I think Tropical Team will make it out bottom two. No, not they a chance. Won't. So they know they're in elimination. And imagine you get five points. That so takes you to 16. And if one of the top teams only get one or two points... Darren, Trevor and I are just all at the scoreboard trying to figure out 
who's got the upper hand so far? Where are the points going? Where are we sitting? If we get one point, you guys get three points, you guys get five points, yes, and they strong. get even it's just strong. two points, yeah. then yeah, we at the, we at the bottom. It's quite obvious that unless Team Tropical come out number one in the next challenge, they're probably going to end up in the elimination challenge. Various people yeah. snap, they break under pressure. So, I don't know, man, maybe Team Yellow is not that strong psychologically and mentally. The discussion about who's going to be up against us is seeming to be interesting. Um, it's going to be between Team Mango Peach and Pineapple. Mm. I think we can take on Pineapple. Well, I mean, we need to hope that Mango Peach stays bottom two with Tropical. Because we are literally like one point ahead of them. And they're a very strong uh, oh. team. They are a very strong team. But again, it depends on the next challenge. Exactly. A challenge before any elimination is really big because it can shuffle everything up. But especially where we all are standing at the moment, we're all so close and, you know, there's different scenarios that we've been playing out in our minds as to who wins what points, how it will turn out. And if it goes horribly for us, we can be an elimination, eh? We need to beat Team Pineapple in this challenge in order for us to not sit at elimination. This challenge is quite important to us. We're done with Team Cool Red being at the top of the leaderboard. I'm over it, it's done. Anything could happen in the game. So if you're not first, you could be lost. <laughs> we are very big flamingo. It's a water challenge. Mm. Everybody knows how I feel about water. I just <laughs> see this big blown up flamingo and deflated flamingos by each station. So obviously we're gonna need to be blowing up these flamingos, but I'm hoping that we're not gonna be using our, our mouths because <laughs> our, I'll pass out. What's up, smooth teams? How's everyone feeling after our last challenge? Hot. All good? Hot. Yeah, good. Yeah. Now I'm sure you realize the importance of this particular challenge that we're about to take on. It is the very last one before elimination and you'll need to make up some very, very precious points because after our last challenge, Team Peach is at the top with 15 points. Team Cool Red with 14 points in second place. Team Pineapple, 12 points in third place. Team Mango and Peach, 11 points in fourth place. And bottom of the leaderboard right now, Team Tropical with four points. So of course, you understand what is at stake right now. The points at this moment are not really important for us because even if we win, we're not going to get to the top. But it would be nice to, to win. It wouldn't be a bad thing. <laughs> and so on to our last challenge that we like to call Tour de Flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why? Wow. Because the island of Curacao has many colourful characters and one of the most colourful is the flamingo. In fact, Curacao has a flamingo ambassador called Bob, believe it or not. Bob the flamingo. Yep. Now, usually you'd find flamingos digging for shrimp in the salt flats, but today they will be assisting you in the challenge. At the start of this challenge, you will both be in your starting blocks. On my mark, as a team, you need to help each other to inflate your flamingos. Knowing Tropica, I'm thinking that we need to use our mouths to blow <laughs> into this giant flamingo. The challenge is over before it even starts. <laughs> Man, I hope you bought an extra pair of lungs. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> the ones that I currently have now have been given up on me. <laughs> but luckily, there was a pump. After you've done that successfully, take them onto the water and paddle them across the water towards the jetty where you will retrieve the four bags of puzzles. Now, you may only do this one bag at a time, going back and forth. The two of you on the flamingo. Oh my God. Only using your hand <gasps> to paddle the flamingo. Once you have all four back in your starting block, you may then proceed to the table, empty the puzzle bags, and complete the puzzle. As simple as that. Now, of course, there is one very important thing to remember. Team Peach, you are the holders of the latest long life charm and so this comes with a certain advantage in this challenge if you should decide to use it it'll earn you a 30 second 
freeze from everybody in the challenge when you activate it. And how you do so is by screaming the words, activate long life charm. Activate long life charm. At which point, everyone in the challenge needs to put their hands up in the air and freeze. No paddling, no nothing for 30 seconds. I'll tell you when those 30 seconds start and when they end. All smooth? Smooth. smooth. All right, let's play Tour de Flamingo. Tour de Flamingo. After not being selected to take part in the previous challenge, Team Tropical have a guaranteed spot at the elimination table. The question is, who will dine with them? Let us know with hashtag Tropica. Try the new Tropica Pina Colada. Smooth. Smooth teams, this is your last opportunity to earn points before the elimination round. Are you ready? Yeah! In three, two, one, go! All right, here we go, here we go. Get that pump in and do your thing. I'm relieved when we find out that we don't have to blow it up with our mouths. But using the pump is just as hard. Whoa! Girl! You've got to exert all of this force. You're trying to keep your core strong so you're not breathing properly and that actually affects the movement of the pump in. You got it. Go, 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 go. From Chaldean, it's a hard, hard, tough job, this. Remember to let me know when you think that your flamingo is fully inflated. Oh, man, I'm just going balls to the wall, guns blazing, trying to just, you know, hoy this thing as much as possible. <laughs> Eventually, I just got to step aside. Eventually. I'm like, no, I'm going step aside, Trevor. Okay. <laughs> Eventually, I'm like, let mama handle this one. <laughs> and I'm just breathing and I'm pumping and I'm breathing and I'm pumping. Nice, nice. Oh, man, I'm putting my entire life and energy into pumping this flamingo. I'm going 110%. Team Tropical are still struggling to get that centerpiece firmly pumped up. It's taking all my energy and I'm so exhausted at this point. There is no problem. Oh, God. Huge exhale there from Darren. Oh, this is hard. Wings are good, head is good. Go, go, go. More in the inside. Enough. That's good all round. Team Peach and Team Full Red are good to go. We are first in the water by now. But it's neck and neck, eh? Yeah, Peach is on our bum. All right, so Team Peach and Team Full Red are out in the water. Out to retrieve their puzzle pieces. We're moving as fast as we can. So it, it, it's tricky because I can get my full arm to paddle and my partner got like a portion of her arm and she was like little duck feet. Our technique is to go with the wind. Oh, so we yep. start a bit to the left of our station and naturally the wind is Yeah, as we out. paddle forward, it's going to naturally take us. All strategy, yeah? Nothing is chanced here. <laughs> a bit more. Team Cool Red are back now with their first puzzle piece. Looks like they fell off of the flamingo. Once you fought, getting back on the flamingo while your feet are not even touching the yeah. sand. It's, it's like a lot of upper body strength. Yeah. So now getting on the flamingo is a mission. The pineapple is out on the water for the first time. We are just paddling and paddling and, and paddling and paddling all the way through. You don't even care who's doing what. Mm. You know, you're just trying to get all these puzzles across. Team Mango Peach out for the first time. Team Tropical now still to go. We are still busy pumping and pumping and pumping. Still too soft, still too soft on the neck, still too soft on the wings. There we go, Team Cool Red now making their way with their second puzzle piece. It's a good team go, 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 effort go, go, go. there. Um, team Peach are back again on the water. Team Mango Peach struggling to find direction with Team Pineapple. Now also with their first bag. Team Pineapple making their way back. Team Cool Red back for their third puzzle bag. With Team Peach out for their second. Oh, great technique there from Mango Peach. They're just going backwards and forwards and the reverse motion is super fast. Sando out of the water for Team Pineapple to deliver their first bag. Hey, Kat, it will be more of a surprise for me if I went through one challenge without, do, like, being clumsy. 
because I, l I put so much sunblock on before this challenge. And then I just slid off the front of the flamingo, did a boma makisi, and just landed in the. <laughs> In the set, it's a, I did a roly a roly poly, yeah, uh, roly poly. There we go, Kelteen out of the water now with the second back for Team Peach. Let's go. Team Cool Red now, back at it in the water. It's a race to the jetty with the flamingos. This flamingo is not a part of our team. But, it is working against us right now. But the flamingo's name is Pinky Girl. <laughs> That's the name of our flamingo, <laughs> Bob. Bob is honestly the best thing that has ever happened throughout the challenges that I've encountered. I'm scared of water, but Bob is making my life so easier. Thank you so much, my name. Thanks, Bob. Thank you so much, my ninja. Steve was just not cooperating. It was very difficult, but uh, after the third bag, he pulled his weight. You're good to go, go. Team Tropical now. About to get into the water as Team Cool Red with all four bags. And now they begin to assemble the puzzle. I hate puzzles. I hate, hate, hate puzzles with a passion. Honestly, <laughs> I hate them. Why don't you tell me that before I picked you? Because you... <laughs> One more bag for Team Peach. Two more bags for Team Pineapple. All four bags still remaining for Tropical. It's a collision of the flamingos. There was a lot of traffic in the water. Pineapple was definitely coming into our lane. He wanted to distract us. That's so was tropical too. That was tropical as well, eh? Jumping on the flamingo was the easy part. <laughs> Moving it, on the other hand. Here's another story. <laughs> One more bag to go, guys. Ready? I'm jumping on the flamingo and I literally slide past the flamingo and half my body is hanging on the water. Oh, they tumbled over! Oh my goodness! The mango piece! The flamingo has tumbled over! Unbelievable! Now, you gotta get back on, get back on! I'm trying to push myself back up, but it's getting deeper and deeper. But luckily, uh, my partner here had his arm out for me and he was just like, yo, I'm gonna be your lifeline. Take, oh, my, take hand. my hand. There we go, well done. Good effort. Um. <laughs> Team Cool Red now working at the puzzle. Three tiers exactly equal, it's gotta be flat. Your blocks are different shades of your team color and you have to coordinate them. You need to use all the blocks, every single one. Right now, because we're still in the lead, we're trying to remain calm. We're trying to remember what Kat told us, um, color by color. Um, tier by tier. And because I am a maid of honor for my best friend, I know a lot about three tier cakes. So maybe that will be any fun. I hope that will help us because I have no idea. Now, Team Peach have advanced and have caught up with Team Cool Red. It's the battle of the puzzles now. Watch how you keep going. Whose mind is sharpest? I love puzzles. They're great. <laughs> I hate puzzles. They're for my kids. <laughs> so now, Team Mango and Peach have caught up. They too will start assembling the puzzle. Be careful when you empty out those bags. Make sure all the pieces are there. Well, Tropica left with four bags to go and pineapple with one. Are we there? There we go. Team Cool Raid has completed the puzzle. Woo! First place. Ooh, baby. <laughs> you need to use all the blocks, every yeah, single yeah, one. Here. We're not too bad with puzzles, yeah. so we know that we can still catch up. So we try to just assemble as quick as we can. This one is harder than I thought. I thought it would just be very clear, four pieces, one level, simple. But not on Tropic Island of Treasure. At this point, I'm not doing anything. So it's like, your partner, I'm going to buy you time, just think, do what you need to do. We'll just use this thing. All right, Get, so now, Team activate Pineapple. Activate 30 seconds. What? Activate Long Life. All right, Long Life activated. 30 seconds, everyone freeze now, freeze. Perfect timing for them to freeze all of us because all we need right now is just to breathe mm. and get ready mm. to put together the puzzles. Time freeze is perfect for us 
spicy flamingo is doing what he needs to do this time around, so he is pushing us towards the shore instead of away. And we're not even doing anything. The wind, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Flamingo, are doing oh, the work. Doing the most. So we're resting for 30 seconds. Ah, oh, peach. peach. They're peach, right. Peach. They earned it. It's just why now? Three, two, one. Everyone back on. <laughs> So now, all no. that advantage have counted no. for Team no, B. Next step, puzzles. Super excited. The president of the puzzles is about to puzzle everyone with forming together this puzzle. So right now, Team Tropical still have not gotten their first bag back yet. All the teams are back here. What's going on, ladies? Come on. Right, come on ladies. Tropical struggling behind as per usual. See you. Swim right, swim left. <laughs> not even, in, not even under pressure because they are very happy where they are. They are very happy. Go turn it around. Make so we don't have a, a strategy at this point. We just want to move. And the fact that we don't have a strategy is not a good thing because it's not moving. Come on, girls, Team Tropical, come on. So right now, Team Pineapple, Team Mango and Peach. Team Peach, all at the puzzle. Done. There we go, it is complete. Yeah. Team Peach in second place, well done. We would have loved to absolutely thrash the competition. However, second place is okay for now. Second place is within our strategy. The whole strategy is stay within striking distance. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, no, Team Beach is becoming a problem. <laughs> I'm happy for them. I really am. I'm happy for them, but slow down, guys. <laughs> well done. Done. Right. done! Team Mango Peach in third place. Congratulations. Peach comes in second, and a second later, we literally come in third. So I think it was a matter of vocal cords. Team Pineapple now vying for that fourth spot. I don't... I'll tell you this, Team Tropical. Team Pineapple is still struggling with the first tier of the puzzle. So, you have a chance. The struggle at this point in time with our puzzle is our pieces look so similar. We can't differentiate which one is the darker shade, which one is the lighter shade. So, that's the one thing that's actually holding us back right now. Team Pineapple is not there yet, ladies. Come on, you can still do this. All right, Tropical coming back now with their fourth and final bag. Imagine the stories they would write about this comeback if they were to. One, two, one. Team Tropical is right here. They have their last. Come on, ladies. Here come Team Tropical with the final charge. Oh, my word. This could be it. They're both super strong goals. Yeah, obviously physically, and but they mainly, really I'm saying, strong. is where they, they really don't give up, which is great. I mean, it's, it's so cool to see and watch. Eh? It's yeah. inspiring. I'm a little confused with this puzzle, so I tell Sia, like, whatever you see, girl, do it, because you are good at this. Mm. So I'm like, take the dark, take the light, and then let's build from that, because all of them are on the same level. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Come on, guys. Yeah. Remember. Tropical. Catch. Stay together. No. Come on, Team Tropical. You can do this. There's always a fighting chance. If they haven't finished, we could still beat them. So we are just focusing on doing what we need to do. And if we win, we win. Find your smooth fortune with Tropica. Buy a Tropica, follow the entry details on the pack and stand a chance to win your share of 1 million rand in prizes. Such as a trip for two with KLM to Amsterdam. LG G8X cell phones, LG TVs and dishwashers. Guest vouchers, guest watches and accessories. Plus the smooth grand prize of a Suzuki Ignis. The more Tropica you buy, the more chances you have to win. Tropica, nothing smoother. Team Pineapple is not there yet, ladies. Come on, you can still do this. Imagine the comeback story this would be. Come on, girls, you can do it. You can't have three. Team Pineapple now repositioning frantically. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to... Because the sizes are not the same. See, this, that's... But it's... Put this in the next color. Catch. 
Yeah. Team Pineapple have completed the puzzle. There we go. Oh, we were so close. Mm. I think had we not wasted a bit of time in the water, we could have caught up and we could have come second last. Well done, ladies. There we go. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> I didn't win that puzzle challenge for nothing. Well done. I think Team Tropical at this stage is feeling really down. They set the previous challenge out. I think they wanted to make up in this challenge points-wise. However, it's just not working in their favor. Well done, guys. That must have been very exhausting, but I'm sure Bob the Flamingo would be very proud of all of you. <laughs> well done. Thanks, We're going to tidy up the scores. And of course, the bottom two teams will be competing in elimination to fight for your survival on Tropical Island of Treasure, Curacao. I'll see you later. Thanks. Because Team Mango Peach is really vulnerable, I kind of want to see where the headspace is at. If they take it from this, whoever came third should be third. The yellow green. No, but there's still a, a tie between who should be one two. I feel bad for them. They, they haven't had good a good run with these past few challenges. And you and Darren are like this. Stays on top, just like the last time when Mango Peach finished first. If Tropical you guys were had come fourth, then we would have been clear from that elimination that's about to happen. But now, now it's a new story. I was running. No, we are tied up with Team Mango Peach. Obviously now we're expecting a tie break between the two teams. And we're excited to do it. And we are ready. We're ready. All right, smooth teams after a fantastic floating flamingo challenge. Here are the revised scores. We've got Team Cool Red, Team Peach tied at 19 points apiece, tied for first. We've got Team Mango Peach and Team Pineapple tied for third at 14 points apiece and at the bottom Team Tropical at five points. So they would, of course, make the bottom of our leaderboard, but we have a situation where we have a tie between Team Mango Peach and Team Pineapple. So we need to decide a tiebreaker. Who will face off against Team Tropical in the elimination game? And that's about to happen right now. No pressure, <laughs> no pressure. We're only up against the boys. So taking that into account, we have to try and knock out Team Mango Peach. Don't know how, don't care either but I know we're not leaving so early. We'll be playing the balancing game, and how it works is as simple as this. I'll give you five seconds to get settled, and the game starts once you've balanced the ball on top of the stick. Every 20 seconds, you switch hands, I'll let you know when to switch, and you must do so when I give you the command. All smooth? Smooth. Let's play. We don't want to end up fighting for our lives, so we have to again try beat Pineapple. All right, guys, this is to determine the team that will go up against Team Tropical in the elimination. We are hoping that Team Mango Peach wins this. You have five seconds to settle, and we'll switch every 20 seconds. Are you ready? I'm just going to do this. I didn't even ask him. He was in the zone. All I had to do was just prep him mentally. I was like, yo, this is what you're going to do. Hold it steady. When it counts to five, start holding it. Release. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the ball. Ten seconds yeah, in. I win. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Yes, All right. That ends round number one. Dando's out. I won't lie, uh, I would have beaten Darren on this one. But I actually wanted the maze one. I saw it when I walked in there. I was like, hmm, that's the one. All right, this means, Setu, should you drop out, Team Pineapple will be up against Tropical in the elimination. Gotcha. You. you ready? Darren, are you ready? Ready. The game starts in five, four, three, two, one. Release the ball. Darren is just yes, he's solid. Holding that thing. Solid. I don't think he took one break, honestly. Okay, 
Team Pineapple has dropped out and you will face off against Team Tropical in the elimination. I have always kept my calm, still calm as ever. I'm looking at Setu. He's a little bit frustrated, but at this time, we also had like a proper strategy on how to do it. Mm. And even better, we are going to follow this right. They were doing so well and everything just flopped completely and turned around. So now they find themselves in elimination and that's how quickly things can change yeah. in this game. Here's how the elimination works. In front of you, you can see two tables on top of which are placed two mazes. Each maze has three golf balls on it. And inside these mazes are three designated holes that you must maneuver the balls around the maze and get the balls into. Three balls, three holes. The first team to get all three balls into the three holes wins the elimination and stays alive on Tropic Island of Treasure Curacao. You'll be strapping the maze around your neck using the blue part on the rope and you may only maneuver the maze by pulling up and down on the rope. All smooth? Smooth. 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 Let's play elimination. Oh, tropical are what they call themselves elimination queens. Yeah. That is why we did not want to face them at elimination. Maybe they can take this one yeah. again. The eliminations are never fun, but they're necessary. And we are so, so, so glad we aren't anywhere near taking part in any of this. Team Tropical, Team Pineapple, remember, this is for elimination. We're up against Pineapple, still confident, still keen to smash it. We're going in. Nothing personal. It is just a game. It's a game, Chief. It's just a game. Chief. Just play it well. Honestly, don't play this game with your heart because you really are going to be heartbroken. Mm -hmm. Just play it and while playing it, just have fun. The first team to get all three balls into their designated spots wins this challenge and stays alive on Tropic Island of Treasure Curacao. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, let's go. Try the new Tropica Pina Colada. Smooth. Try the new Tropica Pina Colada. Smooth. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. I think Team Tropical can definitely take this. The girls are extremely smart. They haven't spent too much of their energy in all of the challenges today. So I'm very confident that Tropical can do this and come out at the end. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's leave this one here. Uh -uh, uh -uh. It could be anybody's game, but we are hoping we, that Pineapple... Yeah, we're backing this Pineapple. One. We believe in them. Bring it, bring it. Bring it. Up, up, down, down on your side, down on your side, down on your side. Nice. We are so locked in on this game. Down on your side. Uh, we in sync. I say tilt to your left, we tilt slightly. It's teamwork. Without shouting. Yeah. You know when you start shouting, I get very, very upset. No And I don't do it. Okay, no I don't do it right. All right. It's chief. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. Let's leave it there. Tropical has one ball in its spot. This way. Well, we're not communicating, which is our communication. So we've got this. Just watch the ball. Watch the ball. And this one back. Okay. Down, down on side. your side. Down on your side. Go. Nice. 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 Go. Nice. 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 Team Tropical has successfully landed down two balls in their down correct spot. Down. Not too much. Okay. Down. Down. So go, this is the first one, yeah? Okay. Down. There you go. There you go. Up. Down, this way. down, down. The maze is so heavy, and that's what I'm struggling with right now. Up. Down, this way. down, down, down. Yes. Okay. Uh, down on my down. side. Down. No, down, down on my on your side. side. Yes. Go down. This could be it. Okay. Oh, oh. And then, slightly, slightly. There we go. Done. Pineapple. Done. Has got all three balls in their spot. Obviously. Ah, it feels amazing to win. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
and win the elimination challenge. Oh, <laughs> like they really, like, literally finished two seconds hmm. before us. <laughs> well done, Team Pineapple. Very well coordinated effort. At some point, it looked like you weren't there, but then you made it work in a split second. And unfortunately, being at the bottom of the leaderboard, Team Tropical has come back to bite you this time round. Uh, tell me about your experience on Tropical Island of Treasure Curacao. Nothing about this experience was unfortunate for us. We did our best, we had a great experience, and we did everything we could to get here. Yeah. I'm proud of you, I'm proud of myself. I tried a lot of things that I'd never done before in my life, and I've seen that I'm quite a, a strong person, yeah. patient, <laughs> and also I had so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Sia, what about you? I'd always said that I wanted to join because I wanted to test my physical, my mental, my emotional. And I feel like this experience has done exactly that. Um, I'm grateful for the people that I've met along the way. I'm grateful for Simperia for carrying me when I couldn't carry myself. And yeah, all the best guys. I think you guys are incredible and you're gonna kill this. All the best. It's been amazing having you here. It's been amazing seeing your persevering strength through every single challenge. But unfortunately, it is time to say goodbye to fame and fortune. You can say your final goodbyes. Sia and Sims did exceptionally well in all the challenges. However, this is a game and someone needs to go home. And unfortunately, at this time, it's them. <laughs> yeah, because it's going to be a long hug. <laughs> Sad for Tropical. Yeah. Really, really hope that Tropical could have won. Now who's going to get used to being at the bottom? Pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> Although we're really happy that Pineapple won, we're also really sad yeah. to see Team Tropical leave. Um, no, it's sad, eh? So it's a, it's a cash win too, but it has to happen. And they're such sweethearts, those girls. I mean, like, I really enjoy them. While you all are saying your good advice, for the teams that remain on Tropical Island of Treasure Curacao, next time I see you, you'll be facing your biggest challenge yet. Mark my words. I hope you've brought your running shoes. Oh, no. <laughs>such a great friendship. There were times when I was down and she'd be like, Sims, come on, get up. <laughs> you know, she was she was my motivator. Me too. She was everything, especially when I felt like I can't do this. Yeah, yeah, I agree. She also did the same for me. There are times when I would give up on myself and Sims would literally lift me up. <laughs> so um, yeah, I appreciate you so much. I wouldn't have asked for a better partner to walk this journey with me. I'm sad that it's coming to an end, CBQ. You but truly yeah. are a dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs>
embracing this beautiful ocean. So yeah, we're not complaining, eh? That's for sure. All smooth. Smooth. Tropica. Nothing smoother.